I'm Santosh Gadankar. Today, I'm discussing on the balancing of reciprocating masses. This is the problem. The firing order is six cylinder vertical, four stroke inline engine. The ratio, sorry, the sequence is they are given it one four two six three five. The piston stroke is hundred mm. The length of each connecting rod or connecting radius, you can say, two hundred mm. The pitch distance between cylinder center line are 100 mm, 100 mm, 150, 100 mm, and 100 mm. Determine the output of the balancing primary and secondary forces and couple on the engine. Taking a plane midway between cylinder 3 and 4 as a reference plane. The reciprocating masses per cylinder is 2 kg and the engine runs at 1500 rpm. This problem is given in VTU 13, 14, and 17. The data is R is given, R is nothing but stroke divided by 2 is nothing but stroke is given 100 divided by 2 is nothing but 50. 50 in terms of uh, meter 0 0.05 mm. It is a crank. Now connecting rod 200 mm they are given it. 200 mm in terms of meter 0.2 mm meter 0.2 meter secondary force L divided by R is required 0.2 divided by 0.05 is equal to 4 ok today I am discussing only the graphical method analytical method is already there ok only we are discussing only the graphical method how to uh, do uh, reciprocating of uh, the balancing of reciprocating masses with the help of graphical method first I will consider a table plane plane masses kg radius r in terms of meter force primary force and secondary force f is proportional to mr next reference plane rp or a next couple couple c is proportional to ma mar c is proportional to mar this is theta two theta primary couple secondary <laughs> primary angle and secondary angle okay this is the table we have to construct in order to draw the graphical method it is one of the important part before drawing this one the data has to be drawn in the sheet the whatever data they are given it you have to draw that means sequence they are given it again with the sequence they are given the pitch distance between cylinder centers 100 mm 100 mm 150 100 100 100 150 100 100 that means they are given in this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 cylinders this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 the distance they are given it this is 100 100 mm 100 mm this is nothing but 100 mm which is nothing but 0 0.10 meter this is also 0 0.10 meter 3 and 4 150 mm three and four 
they are given as 150 mm that is 0 0.15 again 0 0.10 meter zero point one zero meter this much they are given it the distance they are given it point one point one okay as per the condition they have said it between three and four you have to take the reference plane and consider the reference plane between three and four this is a reference plane and consider a or l a or L. Okay, you can consider the A or L. Up next, next, with the help of this one, I'm going to uh, go for the planes. Plane one, two, three. Four, five, six, six. Masses two kg, which is fixed. Two, 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 and two kg. Radius radius is. They are given the radius four stroke cylinder, which is given distance between center, center and hundred. Okay, determine the output balance secondary. Couple taking the reference plane midway. Okay, we have calculated the radius here. Uh, st R is uh, radius is nothing but stroke divided by two is nothing but zero point zero five. Zero point zero five is constant 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 next forces multiply m into r you will get force this will be 0 0.10 0 0.10 0 0.10 0 0.10 0 .10 0 0.10 0 0.10 the reference this plays an important role this is the reference this side I will consider the negative and this side I will consider the positive now from A from A to 1 from A to 1 what is the distance from A to 1 you have to measure the distance that means 0 0.10 plus 0 0.10 plus 0.15 divided by 2 it will be 0. Point, it will be minus 0. Point 0.275 this distance is 0. 0.275 from reference A to 1 A to 1 next A to 2 what is the distance this is the distance from A to 2 Seven five, okay, and this will be minus zero point one seven five. Write it here, minus zero point one seven five. Next, from a to three, zero point five divided by two is nothing but minus zero point zero seven five. Minus zero point zero seven five, and this will be again plus plus 0 0.075 from this side to this side from a to 4 a to 5 a to 6 a to 4 plus this will be 0 0.075 and this will be 0 0.175 and next from this point to this part positive it will be 0 0.275 this will be 0 0.175 and this will be 0 0.275 hope so you understood this one next couple couple is nothing but m 
R and A. Yum, yum, R and A. Multiply. This will be minus zero point zero two seven five, and this will be minus zero point zero one seven five. This will be minus zero point zero zero seven five. This one will be plus zero point zero zero seven five plus zero point zero one seven five, and this one will be plus zero point zero two seven five. Now, angle for representing the angle, take a circle of unknown radius. I will take another sheet. Take a circle of unknown radius. Radius of unknown radius. Next, draw a vertical line. Now. Take the firing order. This is the firing order of the argument. One, four, two, six, eight, three, five. Now write down the firing order. I will consider this as a reference vertically. One. Ah, huh, before this one, what should be the angle plays an important role? Angle. For angle. Because it is a sixty. For angle, what you do? Just there is a formula. I is equal to there is a force to two into two into three sixty divided by six cylinder. Then it will be two into three sixty divided by six. One twenty. That means three sixty has to be divided into three part. Three part. Three sixty divided by one twenty has to be divided into three parts. This is the formula. I have taken the two stroke is uh, two means they have said two stroke, four stroke. Sorry, they have said the four stroke. For the four stroke, you have to write two. For the two stroke, you have to write one here. Listen carefully. For four stroke, you have to write two. Two into three sixty divided by number of cylinders. You will get one twenty. One twenty divided by three sixty, you will get number of parts has to be divided. The circle has to be divided. Just assume it. This is a two stroke. Now, in place of two, you have to write one into three sixty divided by six. Similarly, 360 divided by whatever the value will become, that number of parts you have to divide this circle. Three part, 120, 120 you have to divide it into three part. This is the 120, 120, 120. One twenty. Again, this side should be one twenty. One twenty. Okay. Now first is one. Next will be four. Four. Next will be two. I'm going this direction. If you are going this direction, it will be one, four, and two. You can take any direction. Okay, I'm now I'm considering only this direction. One, four, and two. And next is six, six, three, and five. These angles will be one twenty, one twenty, 
120. Okay, this complete uh, diagram. Now I am drawing the primary force. Drawing primary force polygon. Primary force polygon. Primary force polygon. For primary force polygon. I have to consider the primary force I will consider the scale scale 20 raised to 1 that is 20 into 0 0.10 is nothing but 2 centimeter 2 centimeter now this is positive value first I will go for 1 and 6 for 1 positive value therefore arrow will be upward for 2 centimeter 2 centimeter 2 centimeter again 6 will be in the same direction 2 centimeter this is for 1 and this is for 6 because they are lying in a vertical direction why the arrows are in upward direction because the positive sign there is no negative if there is negative sign you have to reverse the direction next 3 4 120 3 4 120 same 2 centimeter 2 centimeter For 4, 2 cm and 3, 2 cm, 120 angle. And next, 2 and 5. Two and 5. This will be 2, this will be 5. This is a closed, it is a balanced one. The primary force is balance. It is a completely closed. Now arrows, if arrows this direction, next will be this, in this direction, this direction, this direction. This is a force polygon. Once the arrow started here, you have to follow the arrows. That's it. If negative sign is there, you have to change the arrow. Everything is positive here or simple way just follow the arrows once started here just complete the loop we call it as a primary force polygon next I am doing the primary force polygon next is primary force polygon primary sorry primary couple polygon primary couple polygon I will consider the scale, scale 200 is to 1. Now, this is the values minus 0 0.0275 into 200. It will be minus 5.5 .5 for 1, minus 0 0.0175 into 200. It will be minus. 3.5 centimeter for 2 minus 0 0.0075 into 200 it will be minus 1.5 for 3 next for 4 1 and 4 are same no Four three. 2, 5 and 6 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4 these values are same for positive you have to take positive 6, 5 and 4 are positive 1, 2, 3 are negative here ok I will draw the uh, primary couple polygon I have taken the scale 2 raised to 1 now here you have to follow the sequence 
for this diagram you have to follow this diagram for drawing the primary couple polygon you have to follow the sequence I will write the sequence 1 4 2 6 3 and 5 this is the sequence I have written it huh. before going for the sequence first what is theta for 1 for 1 for 1 I have taken the word of reference as a 0 here because if from here everything starts for 1 I will consider 0 from 1 to 2 from 1 to 2 what is the value from 1 to 2 120 plus 120 plus 120 it is nothing but 240 from 1 to 3 120 next from 1 to 4 1 to 4 again 120 again 120 next from 1 to 5 1 to 5 240 from 1 to 6 again 0 360 is nothing but 0 2 theta just multiply with 2 2 into 0 0 2 into 240 it will be 480 2 into 120 240 this will become 240 480 this will be 0 ok next here going for the primary couple polygon now take a scale here 1 is nothing but what 1 is 1 minus 0 0.275 angle is 0 angle is 0 I will consider the angle 0 that is completely vertical for 1 what is the value 5.5 5.5 5.5 it is a minus therefore arrow will be downward if it is a positive arrow will be upward now it will be what link 1 or firing engine or line is 1 next is for 4 for 4 what I have to do for 4 what I have to do I will keep this one aside now 4 for 4 for 4 240 is the angle they have given 240 is nothing but exactly parallel to this one for 4 240 just I will show it how to draw that one 240 just move in this direction for 4 1.5 1.5 I will draw it 1.5 if you measure from this side to this side it will be 240 otherwise just take parallel of this one this is for 4 and for 4 it is positive therefore arrow will be this direction if it is negative the arrow will be opposite direction 240 and next next okay you can say that why I have taken in this direction because of 240 because of 240 I have taken this as a reference plane if you measure it it will be 240 okay and next is about 2 2 is nothing but your negative value and the value for this is 3.5 3.5 angle will be 120 if you measure one value just make it parallel for this one it will be 3.5 this will be 3.5 3.5 arrow will be this direction because we have to complete the loop now no need to go for cross checking if you got the two arrows just follow the loop next is about 
one is over two is over the four is over two is over next is about six six is nothing but one it is 5.5 .5, exactly parallel to this one one is nothing but this one that means exactly parallel to this one 5.5 5 5.5 5 .5, arrow will be in this direction I think 6 firing order 6 and next is about 3 3 3 is in this direction 3 1.5 3 is 1.5 1.5 this will be 3 you have to follow these links I'm taking the reference with the help of this one I'm drawing the uh, next I'm drawing the primary couple polygon next is exactly parallel to this one 2 is nothing but 3.5 if you join it it will be definitely 2.5 this will be 5 the arrows will be in this direction is a close therefore the primary couple polygon is a balanced one next I have to draw the secondary couple this completes the primary force polygon primary couple polygon both are balanced because they are closed next I'm going for unbalanced secondary force and couple I will keep aside this one quite easy once you understand this one you can play with the balancing of reciprocating masses unbalanced unbalanced secondary force and couple unbalanced force secondary force and couple here take a circle of unknown radius circle of unknown radius this is the vertical now this is the one one now this is the one I would consider this as a zero angle vertical I am considering zero angle now 1 to 2 1 to 2 is nothing but what 480 480 is nothing but what complete 360 120 again he has to consider the 120 here this will be your 480 2 next to 1 to 3 240 240 means this direction it is again 120 3 again 124 240 next 125 480 1 to 5, 480, 5, next 6, 6. Now, if you measure the angle, it will be 120, 120, and 120. Or, in a simple terms, in a simple terms, just reverse this one, reverse this one in the secondary couple, bring this side. 3, 4 has to be bring this side and 2, 5 has to be bring this side. That's it. And this has to be kept as it is. Okay. Next. This part, first part is completed. Now sequence is changed now. Now sequence will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 6, 5, 3, 1, 2, 
वन टू फोर सिक्स फाइव एंड थ्री दिस इज द सिक्वेंस इट विल गोइंग टू चेंज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस पार्ट वन थ्री फोर सिक्स फाइव दिस सिक्वेंस प्लेज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दिस सिक्वेंस प्लेज एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल नो यू वन फोर टू हैव गिवन ए सर्कल जस्ट राइट इन दिस वे सर्कल टू सर्कल फोर विल बी इन द सर्कल एंड थ्री विल बी विदाउट सर्कल सिक्स विल बी विदाउट सर्कल नाउ यू कैन राइट डाउन द सिक्वेंस वन टू फोर सिक्स फाइव थ्री जस्ट यू हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस वन इन द केस ऑफ सेकेंड रिकपल नाउ आई एम ड्राइंग द प्राइमरी फोर्सेस हियर Oh, sorry. Secondary forces. Secondary forces. I am drawing here. Secondary force. I will consider the scale. Twenty is to one. Secondary force means you have to consider the same. This one you have to consider. Secondary force. Twenty into zero point one zero is nothing but two centimeter. Now again. One six will be in the same direction. One six, two two, both are positive. There is no negative sign here. Positive, positive, positive. One six, one twenty. Angle will be two forty. Three and four will be two forty. Three, four eighty. Sorry, four eighty. Three and five will be four uh, eighty. Just try four centimeter. Just parallel with the help of this parallel. Line can draw four centimeter two two. Next, complete this one. Now this will be what two and five. This will be four and three. Two centimeter, two centimeter. Arrows will be in this direction. You have to close the loop. Why the arrows are towards upward direction? Because everything is positive. If there is negative sign, you have to reverse the direction. This complete the primary couple. Now I am going for the secondary couple polygon. Secondary couple polygon. Secondary couple polygon. I will consider the scale. Two hundred raised to one. Again the same. Two hundred raised to one. Same. Zero point zero two seven five into two hundred. It will be five point five centimeter. Next minus zero point zero one seven five into twenty, it will be minus three point five centimeter. Minus zero point zero zero seven five into twenty, it will be minus one point five. Minus one point five. This is for link. Sorry, firing order one. This is for two, and this is for three. This is for three. One and six are same. Two and five are same. Three and four are same. Now, I'm drawing the secondary couple polygon. First value is negative, zero point two seven five, five point five centimeter, exactly parallel to this one, or dry reference. Exactly parallel to this one. Five 
five point five five point five downward it is a negative sign negative sign negative therefore arrow will be downward next is about you have to consider the firing order here one two four six five three while drawing the secondary polygon couple you have to consider the uh, firing order while drawing the secondary force you have to consider the circle the firing order first is 5.5 .5, it is drawn here and next is about 2 2 2 is nothing but uh, 0, point, 0, point 0.0 that is 3.5 centimeter negative direction now negative means what I am considering the 2 here because 3 and 4 are lying in this direction now 3.5 3.5 3.5 here 3.5 now I have taken this in this direction if you measure it it will be uh, 240 if you count if you measure it from this direction to this direction it will be 1 and 3 or 1 and 3 it will be 240 degree 240 degree the arrow will be what arrow will be what negative this direction exactly opposite to 3 ok just next is about the completing the formalities next sequence is sorry 1 and 2 it is a 2 2 is nothing but how much uh, it will be 2 is nothing but 480 ok this is the link 2 3.5 is 2 240 exactly now it should be 480 480 degree if you count it it will be 480 degree Or two, it will be 480 completely 480 you are getting confusion then just to draw a line parallel to this one here and 3 in this direction why I have taken in this direction means it is a negative value 2 is a negative value because of that one I have taken in this direction if it is a positive then I have gone for this direction okay now the arrow will be in this direction exactly opposite to this one exactly opposite to this one this direction sorry exactly opposite to this direction here the two will be positive and the two will be negative and next is about uh, a complete circle will has to be written here can say that it is a 480 just you have to take the reference of this one and draw the line otherwise you get confused about writing this degrees avoid this one completely avoid just follow the parallel lines it is best way to draw the uh, secondary uh, couple polygon okay next is about sequence is 4 the 4 is nothing but in this direction 4 4 we have to see positive or negative 4 is positive therefore downward 4 is nothing but 1.5 draw 1.5 here 4 next is about uh, 6 exactly parallel to this one 6 5.5 6 next is 5 5 is nothing but 2 5 and 2 are same Two. it will be 3.5 3.5 if you measure it it will be 1.5 
this will be 5 and this will be 3 close the polygon this complete the secondary force polygon it is a closed loop therefore secondary polygon couple is a balanced one okay just follow the parallel rules it is the best way i am santosh gadankar thank you very much